Time now to analyze another swing of one of the world's top professional players. Under the microscope today is the former women's world number one, Yanni Seng. Yanni Seng, for a time period, completely dominated the women's game. You know, she grew up in very, very windy conditions and she absolutely is an amazing driver of the golf ball. She comes in sort of very, very steep and very late, hits the ball very low, you know, always be looking for her to do well at a ladies' open. But because of that strength that she has with her driver, you know, once she gets into those wedges, and she's often, because she's so long, hitting those wedges, that big drive forward and that big shaft lean makes controlling distance very difficult. And there is no doubt, you know, under, the, under pressure in America, where you need to be able to control the distance with your wedges sort of 120 yards and in, she lost the field. So sometimes the strength in one area of your game is a weakness in another. She hits the ball amazingly far, but she has got to try to find a different style, a different technique. You know, as a power hitter, her wedges now are such a weakness for her, she really doesn't get that many birdie opportunities. So for Yanni Seng, working hard on the wedges. So we see this so many times, you know, think about how important power is, but if you can't get that ball close to the hole with your wedges, you can't take advantage of the power that you're creating. So an imbalance in her game has created sort of a big rise and then a big fall. So we'd be looking for Yanni Singh to improve those wedges and get back to the top of the ladies game.